So I've just took out my heatless curls. I got one of these in B&M when I was home and yeah, I've been really loving this. I think I do need a better quality one, but this one will do for now because it's like two pounds. Anyway, so I've just got my hair a quick brush and I thought I'd show you what I do when I take my heatless curls out because I made a big mistake last night. So I will do another video on how I do my heatless curls, but I use rosemary water every day. And normally when I'm doing my heatless curls, I really wet the end of my hair so that they come out smooth. You can tell I wet this side a little more than this side. And obviously when you wake up and brush them and then you realize it's like a frizz ball, you probably end up just like forgetting about it and doing something else with your hair, but let me show you how to kind of fix it. Also, I have sun cream on my face. It is so freaking hot where we are at the moment. So I'm sweating a little, but I'm gonna do this quickly. So I like to use a big paddle brush and um, it just works better for me. This is just a cheap one. Um, even though I'm a hairdresser, I never encourage people to spend a shitload of money on different things. Of course, there is kind of brushes you can get like bamboo and stuff, but unless you're actually getting proper bamboo brushes, there's no point in spending the extra money and boots on one that actually isn't a proper one. So just keep that in mind. Just do whatever you can for your hair within your price budget. So the first thing I do is I start at the bottom and I brush up and then I take down a bit more hair, bottom brush up, a bit more hair, bottom brush up, a bit more hair, and I just do this on both sides, and then I just go over the top. Now my hair holds curls. See how much better that looks compared to this side? My hair holds curls really well, so that's obviously something to keep in mind for me. If your hair doesn't, you might need to do less with the brushing. But I think heatless curls, I think the best thing to do is if the curls don't last really well in your hair, so probably add like a little bit of mousse when your hair is damp, just to help keep the structure of your hair. So do the exact same thing to the other side. So you can see just giving a good brush out, it really sets it well. Show my tippy toes, because I can't get the height of the camera right. Anyway, so I just used the littlest amount. I cut myself the other day and Mark, it was so sore. And it's at such an awkward place where you use your hands. Anyway, so I just use a little pump. Might have even used a little too much. And you really wanna just go over the ends that have a bit of frizziness. And I like to go through kind of like this. Excuse my nails. Oh, I'm so busy in work at the weekend and I had to wash so many dishes and my nails just broke. I was so sad because I actually had been spent spending the last year pulling them and then this last weekend just messed them up all together. I was so sad about it. But the new journey begins on the nail growth. Now obviously depending what kind of heatless curls method you do will work different for you. I know some people like to give their hair a little curl first and then do it, dampen their hair. I mean, if you curl your hair first, it's not really heatless curls, but it's more about making it easier in the morning. This is my hair. I put the heatless curls in last night and I'd washed it about four days ago. So yeah, and I haven't used heat on my hair in about a month. So I'm really trying to go until the end of the year. It's now November 16th. So God knows when this will be posted. I'm really trying to not curl, like use heat on my hair. I left my hair dryer at home when I was home. And then I have a curler I've left in the van. I don't even have it with me. Um, so yeah. And then we have a big road trip coming up next week, like a 32 hour road trip. We're doing over four days. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing a lot of heatless curls just to really get in the mojo of it. And when my hair is done, I always feel a little bit better. So I'll show you the back, hope they look good. Good, I'll take your word for it. Okay. So that is how I brush out my heatless curls. I use a little bit of serum. I'll just show you the serum I have. Types of serums. I have the Olaplex, which I brought with me traveling because it has a heat protector in it. So I like that I could have both. And I use that much in about a year. So it really does last long. And then I got this the same day I actually bought the heatless curls and um, just to have something on my hair. So I have these two and I'm trying to keep this for when I do end up needing to use heat on my hair and then I'll just use this on the daily. I actually plan to make my own serum soon as well. My own little shine and spray, which I'm gonna make in the van in a couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that. I'm just waiting for one of my travel bottles to empty up. And then this is what I've been using on my hair. I got it in B&M for like two pounds 50, I think while I was home, cause I was using all kinds of things in the van. But then I was like, okay, I'll just try this. And I tried it and it is the quickest, easiest method. It lasts in my hair and it doesn't feel like 
I'm leaning on it too much, which is good. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, I'm gonna put this back in my hair maybe tonight because I think I'm gonna wash my hair tonight and then maybe tomorrow night when my hair has been washed today so you can actually see what it's like without being curled. Um, I'll put it in and see what it's like and then do a little video so you can see. Um, yeah. So let me know what you think. Also, if you can think of any companies that I can get one of these delivered to in Australia, let me know because I just picked up this one because it was cheap and cheerful, but I can already tell, and I've only had it like a month and a half, that thread is falling out, which is sad, but yeah. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one.